We do need to expand uh, domestic production. And that means, for example, telling the oil companies the 68 million acres that they currently have leased, that they're not drilling, use them or lose them. And I think that we should look at offshore drilling and implement it in a way that allows us to get some additional oil. But understand, we only have 3 to 4 percent of the world's oil reserves, and we use 25 percent of the world's oil, which means that we can't drill our way out of the problem. I will invest $150 billion over the next 10 years, $15 billion a year, to put America on the path of true energy security. And this fund will fast-track investments in a new green energy business sector that will end our addiction to oil and create up to 5 million jobs over the next two decades. We'll invest in research and development of every form of alternative energy, solar, wind, biofuels. We'll find safer ways to use nuclear power and store nuclear waste. And we'll invest in the technology that will allow us to use more coal, America's most abundant energy source, with the goal of creating five first-of-a-kind coal-fired demonstration plants with carbon capture and sequestration so they're not adding to global warming. We will help states like Michigan build the fuel-efficient cars we need. And we will get 1,150,000 mile-per-gallon plug-in hybrids on our roads made in America within six years' time. We can do that. We're going to increase fuel mileage standards. 4% every year. We'll invest more in the research and development of those plug-in hybrids, specifically focusing on battery technology. We will leverage private sector funding to bring these cars directly to American consumers. We'll give consumers a $7,000 tax credit to buy these vehicles. That's how we'll not only protect our auto industry and our auto workers, but help them thrive in the 21st century economy. I'll call on businesses, government, and the American people to meet the goal of reducing our demand for electricity 15 percent by the end of the next decade. And this, this is by far the fastest, easiest, cheapest way to reduce our energy consumption. It will save us $130 billion on our energy bills.